take a look at the Midget Girls 1500 race to start off. Tegan Chapinski from Glebe showed well in the Western Conference meet. She won by over 20 seconds in that race, but the Eastern Conference was much tighter. Four or five runners within a couple seconds of each other, so we'll see if Tegan can get challenged a little bit heading into the city championship. As expected, Tegan Schapansky from Glebe won the Midget Girls 1500 meter with a commanding five second win, scoring her second first place finish. Jack Pensum continued Glebe's long distance dominance, winning the Midget Boys 1500 meter. Uh, yeah, I was feeling good the first little bit, and then by probably the second lap, I was feeling bad, but then at the end, there's a fun way to push through. But yeah, Brady had a great race too, so. May May Weston with yet another win for Glebe, her second of the meet in the Junior Girls 1500 meet. No Philippe Turcanu from Bell edged out 800 meter Junior Boys champ from SRB, Lucas Zanetti, by two seconds to win the Junior Boys 1500 meter race. Senior Girls 3000 meter winner LDH has shown a McCullough swept both distance races, winning the Senior Girls 1500 meter event. Michael Mather from Franco West was the clear winner in the Senior Boys 1500 meter, besting the second place finisher by 10 seconds. Take a look at the sprint hurdles now and in the Junior Boys race, Hugh Graham from Ashbury has a commanding two second lead heading into the city championships. As long as he makes it over the hurdles, he's definitely the favorite in this race. Before we see his race, we'll take a look at the midget girls action. Katia <laughs> Tuwan of Blue Riel took first place in the midget girls 80 meter hurdles. It went good. It went well. I could have do better, but it went good. Lou Riel took their second straight sprint hurdle victory with Carolyn Poirier winning the junior girls 80 meter hurdles. Well, I actually I'm I'm new to this, and I think this was the best race I've ever done. So that's good. In the senior girls 100 meter hurdles, Kira Christie Galloway of St. Matt's set the record in the heats and broke it once again in the finals to take home the victory. At the beginning of the race, I was uh, thinking don't fall, which is not a, <laughs> a good thing to be thinking. But then I got to the start line and I just relaxed and gave it my all. Lee Winchill Jean from Giselle Lalonde won the Midget Boys 100 meter hurdles with a 15.03. just wanted to run. In the qualifications, I did a better score, 14.99. Hugh Graham made it over all the hurdles clean as he cruised to the Junior Boys 100 meter hurdles pick. We always went pretty well at first. Um, I've been trying to work on getting my arms moving throughout the entire thing, so really focused on that right out of the blocks. And when halfway through, I felt the guy in lane three really catching up. So I just had to push a tiny bit harder, which is really, really, really hard, but fun. Alex Chiabai scored a surprise win in the senior boys 110 meter hurdles after ranking fourth on, heading into the finals. Let's go. Let's go, Alex. That was pretty good. Go. Uh, one of my second hurdles, I think I hit it a bit, threw a bit off, but I came back. It was a good race, much better than my heats. Triple jump is an event in which competitors attempt to jump as far as possible by performing a hop, step, and jump from a running start. Let's take a look at the highlights and senior girls triple jump. In fifth place was Emily Sprague from Canterbury, who was able to reach 10.40 meters. Fourth place went to Emma Zucker from Ashbury, reaching a distance of 10.62 meters. In third place was Elodie Drew from Les Seclaudel, with 10.66 meters. Second place went to Megan Miero from Longfields Davidson Heights, with 11.15 meters. And the senior girls triple jump winner was Chloe Gravel of De La Salle with 11.39 meters. Uh, it went well, PB for me. I hope for more, but I'm still satisfied with the jump I did. So, yeah. In fifth place was Joao Desjardins from Omar De Laurier with 11.82 meters. Calum Christ finished in fourth place from Maryville High School with 11.88 meters. In third place was Kenzie Ivelard from Giselle Alon with 11.99 meters. 
Finishing in second place was Benjamin Spalletta from Holy Trinity with 12.29 meters. And in first place was Jonathan Mukishi from Louis Rial, who reached 12.83 meters. I was really not nervous. I was into it, and yes, I was, I was really confident. That's all for the field events. Now moving on to the highlight event, the 100-meter dash. Mac, what's the energy like over there? Yeah, Keenan, the energy is pretty good here, in particular for the senior girls race. Siobhan Roxborough from South Carlton is the favorite heading into this one. She put up a 12.19 second in the Western Conference, by far and away the best time of any senior girl. She'd be the favorite heading into this one. But before we see her race, we'll take a look at the Midget Girls 100 meter. In the Midget Girls 100 meter, Jenna Matsukubo from Glebe scored a comfortable victory. That was a good race. It was sort of windy today, but other than that, felt good. Ben Robinson from Immaculata built on his 200-meter midget boys victory to take home the 100-meter crown with an 11.32. Um, yeah, I didn't expect it to go that well, but I didn't think I'd beat my PB either, but that was pretty good. Felt good. Michelle Ayotte from Corrine Wilson won her second sprint medal by taking the junior girls 100 meter, posting the only sub-13 time with a 12.77. I felt really good about it. It's my best time this year, actually. Um, hopefully I can get better, because last year I had like a faster time, but I think it went really good. It was a photo finish in the junior boys 100 meter with Tyrese Johnson from Immaculata coming out as the winner. Well, it was a pretty fast heat. I got up to kind of like a bad start, but I did recover. I had enough time to accelerate. Kudos to this person in second place. He really pushed me pretty hard. South Carlton's Siobhan Roxborough was eight tenths of a second away from breaking into the 11 second mark, but she still took home the senior girls 100 meet. I think my start was a little off. I had to catch up a bit around the 20 meter mark, but then I eventually pulled up and I just won, I guess. LDH's Dober Colley was the only runner to break the 11 second barrier, posting a 10.75 on his way to winning the senior boys 100 meter. That was a good race. That's all I can say. People came ready to race. And it was amazing. We show everybody why the 100 meter is like the main point of view for the track and field. It was a good race. I was very happy with the time. That's all the time we have for this week's edition of High School Sports Zone. Thanks to Keenan and the rest of the crew for helping us out here. Until next week, have a fantastic weekend.